Hello everybody, welcome to chapter 6.3 part 2, multiplying radicals with variables. Multiplying with variables. When variables are introduced to radical expressions with multiplication, remember the rules when multiplying variables. In example number 10, we're asked to multiply square root of 12 x cubed times square root of 3 x. So let us go over to the whiteboard and do this one. Up to now, we've been doing multiplication of radicals with just regular numbers. But the same is true for variables. So for example, if we have the square root of 12 as an example number 10, x cubed times 3x, it's radical 3x, we can just put them all together and see if we can simplify things. So we have 12 times 3x cubed x. So that means what we can do is we have 12 times 3. Well, 12 times 3 is 36. And then we just add those two up and we got x, get x to the fourth. And that means we have, since 36 is a perfect square and this is also a perfect square, we end up with 6x squared. So essentially we do it the same way as we would do just regular algebraic equations, but we must simplify our radicals and see how to combine them in that way and simplify them in that way. Reviewing example number 10, we put the two radicals together and we got 12 times 3 times x cubed times x. We use the multiplication rules to do this where we have the radical a to the index x times the radical b to the index x is equal to both of the radicals to the index x. Notice how the indexes are the same and this is what we do to multiply radicals. Then we simplified and we found that x cubed times x is equal to x to the fourth and it turns out that the square root of 36 times x to the fourth are both perfect squares so we got 6x squared. In example number 11, we're asked to multiply 3 square root of x plus 5 square root of y times 2 square root of x minus 4 square root of y. Let's go over to the whiteboard and work this one out. As before, even though we have variables in number 11, it's the same process as if we had just regular numbers. So we have here 3x plus 5 square root of y times 2 square root of x minus 4 square root of y. And we use our distributive property or our FOIL or however you want to call it. So here we have 3, 2, so that will be 6x square root of x. Then we go negative four, uh, 3 times 4, so that's negative 12 x square root of x square root of y. And then we have the next one, 5 plus 10 square root, and I'll just write x, y, x square root of y. Doesn't matter because this is commutative. And then the last one here, so we have 5, 4, negative 20. And we know that since they're both y, y, that the y will come out like that. So here, this is just going to be 6x minus, and here we have 12xy plus 10xy. Well, now that's going to give us minus 2 square root of xy, and then, of course, the minus 20y. We cannot combine any further, because as you recall, these two are different, and that's different. So our final answer is just this. Hello, let us review example number 11. 
As you can see, we used FOIL to remove the parentheses. In step two, remember that you can multiply numbers outside the radical with numbers inside the radical and numbers inside the radical with numbers inside the radical, assuming the radicals have the same index. So all these have index two because they're square roots, and when you do not see a number index, that means they're square roots. Then we had 6x minus 12 square root of xy plus 10 square root of xy minus 20y. So then we put together the two that were the same and simplified to get 6x minus 2 square root of xy minus 20y. Combine like terms, well, remember that in order to add and subtract radicals, the radicals must be exactly the same. So in this case, we could not simplify any further, and this was our final answer. In example number 12, we're asked to multiply the two binomials square root of x plus square root of 5 times square root of x minus square root of 3. So let us go over to the whiteboard and work this one out. Working through 12, we have square root of x plus square root of 5 times square root of x minus square root of 3. Well, these aren't conjugates because 5 and 3 are different. So we just proceed the way we would normally do. So we have square x squared. Just another way of writing x times x under the radical sign minus square root of 3x plus square root of 5x minus square root of 5 times 3 is 15. Then we simplify this as much as possible. So we end up with x minus square root of 3x plus square root of 5x minus 50, square root of 15. And in this case, since they're, they're, we cannot simplify it any further, there's no way we can combine it, there's no way we can do anything more with that, so this becomes our final answer. We cannot do any more with that. Reviewing what we just did in example number 12, we used FOIL to expand this and we got this and we noticed that there were no like terms to collect except we were able to simplify the x squared but otherwise nothing else we could do and this became our final answer. In example number 13, we're asked to multiply square root of a minus square root of 5 times 3 square root of a plus square root of 7. So let us go over to the whiteboard and work this one out. We have square root of a, bracket, square, square root of a minus square root of 5 times 3 square root of a plus 7 and then of course we go through the procedure of the FOIL so that means we end up with 3 square root of a squared plus 7 square root of a minus 3 square root of 5a minus 7 square root of 5 and it looks like there's nothing we can do here there's no way we can combine anything because if you notice here this is a and this is 5a so we can't combine those two and this one we can yes we can still take out the 3a that's right. So we end up with 3a plus, can't combine these two, so we end up with 7a minus 3 square root of 5a. And this last one, there's nothing more we can do either. So that becomes our final answer. Reviewing what we just did in example number 13, 
again we did the foil technique in order to expand this. We then separated out the perfect squares. Since we were unable to collect any like terms, this was our final answer. In example number 14, we're asked to simplify the square root of x minus 1 plus 3 all squared. So why don't we do this one on the whiteboard? Two x minus one, and all that is under the radical sign, plus three and squared. Now this is something that's a little bit different. So what are we going to do about this? Well, anyway, what we can do about this is to understand that we can we repeat this twice. So we have 2x minus 1 plus 3 times square root of 2x minus 1 plus 3, because that's what squaring that means. So that means what we have here when we do this is that this becomes the square root of 2x minus 1 squared, when we multiply those two, plus 3 square root of x 2x minus 1 plus, and then the other one is going to be 3 times 2x minus 1. And then our final one, 3 times 3, well, we know that is 9, plus 9. So what we want to do now is we want to see, can we do anything more with this? Well, we can combine these two. These two here. And we can make that 6, 2x minus 1, because it turns out that even though it's a binomial, we can combine these two things because these are the same. So we can now write, and I'm just going to erase this over here to make a little more room. So it turns out, and this one pops out of the, this part pops out of the radical sign, we have 2x minus 1 because squared by our definition. And then we have plus 3, I mean 6, 6 square root of 2x minus 1, and then plus 9. And now we can continue combining because we have the negative 1 and we have the 9. So I'm going to erase this here to continue it. So now we have 2x plus 8 times 6, I mean plus 6, radical 2x minus 1. And that becomes our final answer to number 14. Reviewing what we just did in example number 14, we expanded this and we got square root of 2x minus 1 squared plus 3x square root of x minus 1 plus 3 square root of 2x minus 1 plus 9. Because essentially when we square something, that means we multiply the binomial twice. And we collected like terms and we got this 2x plus 8 plus 6 square root of 2x minus 1 as our final answer. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be well, take care, and goodbye for now.